Does trusting God make you immune from temptation? <laughs> you know the answer to that. Good morning, guys and girls. June 19. June 19. Let's look at 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. You can trust God who will not permit you to be tempted more than you can stand. He'll also give you a way to escape. See what we wrote about that. That's a pretty tough one right there. Uh, another Jimmy Houston rule of thumb. Find the heaviest cover that you can near deep water. That's almost always a place where you're going to be able to find largemouth bass. The heaviest cover you can find close to deep water. The heavy cover gives a bass a great ambush, ambush point toward forage, not a place to hide. He's not in that heavy cover hiding. He's in that heavy cover just like a, uh, a mugger is, is hiding around the corner waiting by somebody to run by so he can jump out and steal all their money. And that's why the bass are in cover. They're in cover, they're in junction areas, they're in those places so they can jump out and grab a hold of something. They're not the type of fish that run around and chase something down. They're the type of fish that lays in ambush and waits for something to come by. A lot of times that something coming by has got hooks in it. <laughs> the deep water provides an escape when they're startled or they're in danger. Trusting Jesus will not make you immune from temptation. You already knew that, didn't you? Of course you did. Trusting Jesus will not make you immune from temptation. In fact, it makes you a target. Yes, sir. It makes you a target. And Satan may work on you even harder with even greater and larger and bigger temptations. But when you feed on God's Word and then seek safety in the depths of your faith in God, God's Word and your faith, that's how you avoid temptation. He'll defend you. Prayer is another great weapon we had to fight against that temptation. All too often, my problem is enjoying those little temptations. You ever done that? Yeah, you don't mind being tempted. That's kind of fun sometimes. The danger in that is just like a little small seed of sin that has a great ability to grow into a major problem. Don't, don't, don't give them the chance. Temptation, I tell you, we've all faced it. We're all tempted in a lot of different ways, tempted uh, uh, every single day out there. I mean, the world is a tempting place. The world is a place that's full of, full of sin. It's full of sin, and a lot of those sins are pretty attractive to us, and they're things that, oh, well, just a little bit of that, just a little bit of that, that's not going to hurt anything. But they're just like a little seed. They're going to grow into something really, 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 really big. Our tip for today is take time to invite an old friend fishing. That's right. Take time to invite an old friend fishing. You know, one of the problems that I have and one of the problems I guess everybody has in this hustle bustle world that we live in, we just don't really and truly get to spend enough time with friends. Now, I fish with a lot of friends. I mean, I fish with friends that have been friends for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. But, you know, a day's fishing is several hours, and it's a great time to be able to do that. But, uh, but you know, I might fish with somebody, and I might not fish with them for another year or two or five years or something. Take time to fish with some old friends. Kind of think about somebody that, you know, that maybe you fished with in your early days of fishing. Maybe somebody that you went to high school or college with or somebody that, that kind of helped you get started in bass fishing. And let me tell you, when I talk about an old friend, when I wrote this, what I was thinking about, was some of my father's friends that helped me a lot when I was young and fishing. And they were getting on up there in their, their, their years and they didn't get to go fishing very much. And I would call and take them fishing. And uh, it was just a thrill for them to, to come and fish with me. And although they knew how to fish, they knew how to catch them, they, a lot of what I knew, I learned from them. But it was just a tremendous deal to be able to do that. So uh, if, uh, you know, maybe an uncle, uh, maybe a granddad, maybe a neighbor, maybe one of your dad's buddies that you used to go fishing with, uh, take time to take them fishing. I guarantee you, you'll be better for it. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. We're right here in the summertime. I love you. <laughs>